got to know each other a little bit. We talked about our summer. Um, we worked a little bit on reading, we worked a little bit on listening. So now it's time to say goodbye. Um, we are going to use an exit ticket, all right? So we're going to use quizzes for this one. Quizzes has been around for a very long time, so I'm sure most of you know it already. But today we're going to be using the AI tool it comes with. Um, and this is the thing. The idea is to create a quiz to see how much students were able to understand. All right, so we're going to click here where it says assessment, here where it says generate with AI, right? And we're going to paste the stories that we use today, right? We're, we're, we're using those stories because those are the ones that we use, but you can paste any other text that you have. Um, and Quizzes AI is going to create a quiz for us, right? Now, this is the thing. If we don't like the questions or they are not addressing the topics that we want to address, we can edit them, of course, but at least we have something to work with, right? Um, we can continue adding some similar questions if we want to, you know, add some more questions and to keep going. Something that's really interesting, we can go here, we can click here and we can add um, answer explanations. This is really cool if uh, you happen to run out of time and students end up doing this at home uh, because, you know, maybe they click on, uh, on an answer and it says that it's wrong, and they can be like, but why, why is that wrong? I don't think that's wrong. But if they can see the reason why that answer is wrong, they will be like, oh, yeah, that's true. I totally forgot about this thing that we talked about in class. So if you feel like you're not going to have enough time to um, do this in class with your students, you can add this to make sure that even if they do it alone, they can still see the reasons why an answer is correct or not. That's very useful. Um, if you happen to feel comfortable using Google Forms and you're just used to that, you can export all these questions as a Google Forms. And this is the thing, the idea here is not to really test our students. Um, I don't really care if Aiden was 12 or 13, but I do want to see how much they were able to understand. So this is our very first lesson together. It's the very first time we read a text together, that we listen to a story together. I want to see what the, I want to see what their level is, if they were able, if they felt comfortable, if they were able to understand the things we talked about. So maybe what I would do, for example, is edit the answers that we have here. And instead of asking if he was 13, 12, 15, I would say, was he in primary school? Was he in secondary school? So I didn't think I didn't have to think of the of the question because AI did it for me. But now that AI gave me this idea, I want to change it because I don't really care about his age. I just want to know if my students were able to understand that he was a secondary school student because I don't want to start planning activities saying, OK, this is easy for them. Um, and maybe they just work with a classmate that help them, you know, so I really want to see how they are doing. So I decided to use this for our very first lesson. Um, and now, before we go home, of course, there's going to be some homework, right? Um, and this is what we're going to do. This year, we're going to work with readers right and the school where we work provided us with a very very interesting list of readers that we can use with our students um i don't know i mean i can pick the books we're going to be reading but i also want to make students part of that process i want them to share their interests to tell me what they like doing what topics they are interested in what topics they are not interested in um, so let's do the following. Uh, we are going to do this. I want my students to listen to three book summaries, all right? And they have to pick the one they like best. And they also have to make a list of reasons why they like that one book. So you want to read it, cool, we can totally do that, but why, right? And this is also a nice way to see if they were actually able to understand these summaries. So. 
we're going to head to a platform called Be Freed, right? And this one has lots of book summaries and students can listen to them and they are really cool. And the books they have are really well-known ones. So if you happen to be working with well-known stories, you can totally use this one. Um, so I typed there, as you can see, like Animal Farm. I picked um, the book, or one of the options that we have for this year. And this is how it works. Take a look. Let's see. The vision of Old Major. In the heart of Manor Farm, a gathering of animals took place in the big barn, summoned by Old Major, a wise and aged boar. His voice, though weak from age, so students can listen to the book summaries. Uh, they can read it at the same time if they need to. It's okay, they're going to be alone. Um, and uh, they have to start writing down all the reasons why they like the story and they would like to read it this year. And the cool thing about it is that there's a lot that we can do with it because then when, they, when we see each other again, um, we can ask them, okay, so first of all, I would like you to work in pairs and share like a brief summary of the three stories that I shared with you. They can say, okay, this one was about this, this, and this. This other story was about this, 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 and this, for example. So now we, we, we know what all the stories are about. Cool. Now, I would like you to tell your classmate uh, about your favorite story right? And why is it your favorite one, right? So students can say, okay, I actually like this one because I love animals and I have lots of pets and I want to continue reading. Um, there is actually something really interesting about this story. It talks about, for example, now they have to tell the class if they had the same idea or not. For example, I want to read Animal Farm because of this, this and this. But my classmate wants to read, I don't know, some other book, like Frankenstein, for example, because of this, this and that. So they can start comparing their ideas and they can listen to each other also. And then something, that, something else that we can do is the moment they share their ideas with the whole group, we can vote, for example. And now we can, they have to persuade each other. No, we have to read Frankenstein because it's a classic and it talks about this, this and that. Now I want to know what else is going to happen. No, we totally have to read Animal Farm because it's going to be about this, this. So they have to persuade each other in English with your vote. If you want, you can read all the books that you want, but then you can tell them like, okay, if you all like different readers, different stories, you can all read the story you want, that's okay. Um, you don't actually have to pick one, only one. Uh, but that's a really interesting way to get students to talk, to share ideas. Now they have to convince their classmates as well. Uh, so they are really going to be paying attention to each other, their ideas and so on. Um, and because they, they have the text, right? The cool thing is that, you know, sometimes um, students are like, oh, I couldn't understand something. And you're like, okay, what is it that you couldn't understand? Like, I'm here to help you, but tell me. And they're like, oh, I have no idea. I just don't understand this part. So the cool thing is that if there's something that you don't understand, they can take a screenshot of that part or they can copy it and then they can bring it or, or even we can use this as a reading activity later. And we can use this to work on vocabulary, for example. So it literally took five seconds to find all the stories I wanted. And there are so many things that we can do with them. Um, we can plan a whole lesson just talking about them, just, you know, using them. So it's a really cool platform. This one does have a premium version. Yeah. Vision. Oh, let's see. All right, there we go. I saw some people were asking about the, um, the platforms that we use, the names and everything. So here you have them. So we planned a very, very, very complete lesson. Uh, so we have activities for latecomers, we have a warm-up, we're going to get to know each other a little bit, we're going to talk about our summer, you know, students love talking about the things they did during summer, we're going to work on reading, we're going to work on listening, students are going to use their English, they're going to write, they're going to speak. We teachers are going to be able to see if they really understood the things we talked about, or that we read, or that we listened to in class, and we have a really nice and different um, 
task for homework. So that's it from me. Thank you guys very much for joining today. Um, if you happen to want to download this presentation, you can scan the QR code right here. And also here's my Instagram account, as Rob said. Um, if you happen to want to find some more ideas, there you have them. Thank you.